Hi everyone, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Thursday weather video brought to you by Country TV, Sky Channel 081. We've had a week-long polar blast. Uh, even though the air was not blowing around much over the last few days, high pressure has been locking it in place. Now we're seeing a change coming through and we're going back to westerlies and that means for many places that have been very cold, your temperatures are about to go back up to some in the east a little bit above average. Here's how it looks as we look at the Thursday satellite. Uh, look at all the cloud left over around that very weak system around the North Island that produced the flooding for northern areas over Wednesday. The good news is it is weakening. There's still a few heavy downpours to watch across Thursday, but for the most part, this system is falling apart and sliding eastwards. It's not a clean cut into it, it's just a gradual fading out of the cloud and, and the sun and the slowly starts to come back in as the rain slowly fades away. So it's a bit of a messy system but it is clearing gradually away. High pressure around most other places is also starting to clear away because we've got a new weather pattern coming back through. I think some of you will like it. It's a new westerly pattern once again. And so the southerly that we've had for the last week, that polar cold air, that's being flushed away and we're going to see temperatures lifting back up. So to give you an idea of how much warmer, uh, places in the east like Hawke's Bay and uh, down towards Wider Upper, those areas of course saw a lot of rain and snow on the ranges last week, heavy snow, blizzards around Hawke's Bay and miserable temperatures. Well by the time we get to Friday the daytime highs around these eastern areas are getting up around 16, 17, maybe 18 degrees. So that's nice and warm and will help to melt the snow out. I notice on the Weather Watch Facebook page a farmer wrote to us from up here around Rangataiki saying the power is out for them for the next three weeks and heavy snow right up to the uh, right up to the fence lines. So you'll be pleased to hear that northwesterlies and westerlies are coming back in. And here's the cold front. It brings in a burst of rain, maybe heavy at times for the west coast. Once we get to Saturday, it falls apart. Lots of showers and, and sort of downpours and lighter spells as it moves through the North Island. It's not one big solid band of rain. It's broken up quite messy. But this is the beginning of the new westerlies. So that's the first western um, cold front coming through. The winds, as you can see, are westerly, and here's the next front. Again, it's quite a messy one, but that's coming through, uh, as we'll give you Sunday as well, and you can see that change. All the westerlies are coming through here, south of these highs. Looks a lot like June and July, with these big highs stretching east to west from Perth towards the north of New Zealand, and that encourages all these westerlies in the Southern Ocean, the Roaring Forties, to come back to us, and that stops those big southerlies from coming in. So the weather pattern, certainly mixture of uh, cold fronts and dry spells and high pressure, that's the forecast really for the next week. Don't forget, for the 10 day, 10 minute long forecast, go to Sky Channel 081, Country TV.